was coming from the store and a neighbor who was a good friend of mine was arguing with a, her boyfriend. He uh, had took some money from her. It was $20. It was a heated argument. They had a machete, sticks, and all that. I pulled out my gun and I said, uh, give her money back. He reached for my gun. I pulled back and shot him one time in his uh, abdomen and he subsequently passed away. How did I get to a place where I could take a man's life? You have a lot to offer. And so when you refuse to not, you know, share yourself with people, you not only hold withhold gifts that they can give you, but you also withhold gifts that you can give them. The humor and all that is a distraction from who you really are. And that's an easy way for people not to see who you really are. I don't want nobody to see who I really are. And why is that? You've been hurt by many people that you cared about. And so you don't want to let people in. And so I do hope that you can allow yourself to be vulnerable because it's strengthening that. It's strengthening being whoa, vulnerable. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, now, you just threw me for a loop. I can't be vulnerable. Why you can't? I can't. That is not in my... No, that's not in me. I refuse to open my heart up to let people in because it hurts. Keep coming back. It works if you work it, so work it because you're worth it. It's your prime. How you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good, looking good. You are looking good. Exceptionally well. I look at you and uh, I'm proud of you. Thank you. We're here in the matter of James Houston CDCRP as in Paul 18505. I wish I could get back the life that I've taken. I hope to go out in society and live to the best of my ability, living not only for myself, living also for my victim and all the positive things I do, because me and the victim will forever be linked because of my actions. I'm truly sorry for being here, for us having to be here today, and even having you make the decision on how my life transpires for the next few years, but I thank you for the opportunity. You know, it's still certain parts in there kind of, you know, got to me when I was reading it just now. He was a good man. Every day I wake up, I want to honor him. When I say open the door and let everybody out, there's certain people that, you know, maybe they do need to be there. But those people who've done the work, I believe they should get a second chance.